Hello my friends, I'm Sully and today I'm back and today is actually Sully on Sundays. It is actually a Sunday when I'm uploading this so for the first time in about 2-3 weeks I'm uploading a proper video on the proper day and it's actually going back into consistent uploads. I'm not going to delve into why I haven't uploaded, there's been a lot of issues with my PC in terms of the internal power supply just blacking out and dying and it keeps restarting literally every 20 minutes and I can't edit a full video in that time and that's been happening consistently for the past like three weeks at the moment I don't have the money to repair it so it's literally a case of I'm uploading raw videos or I'm do uploading videos that I can quickly edit like a Sully on Sundays and then yeah but it is my aim to get free videos out next week I will try to get a pro club video out of Sully on Sundays and Sully vs the world out next week for you guys because I know I haven't uploaded consistently in such a long time and I hate letting you guys down because my growth like I've said has been insane and all my new fans are going to be getting a bad reputation of me thinking that I'm not a consistent uploader because that's what I base my channel on from the beginning. I used to upload ridiculous amounts every day but I, at the moment technology seems to just hate me. In other news my laptop's being repaired, I did crash, but not crash, smash a screen on it, it fell out of my bed while I was watching a stream when I fell asleep, and that will be repaired next Saturday, so I will have that back. Obviously that doesn't affect you guys in any way, because I can't edit or do anything via my laptop in terms of my YouTube, so I'll just shut up about that. But yeah, last week on Saturday I did go to Gfinity, as you can see from that lovely poster there. I went to Gfinity 3 in London. It was hosted at the Copper Box Arena, which is right next to the Olympic Stadium. It's near the Olympic Village in Stratford in London. And it was an amazing experience. If I could go again, I definitely would. Um, it's a shame I couldn't go on both days. I did have plans for Sunday originally. Um, but my aim next time there's a Gfinity tournament is to go on both days, because that would be awesome. Um, on the one day I did go, it was insane. The vibe... Oh, fuck. I'm on the camera. The vibe for the Call of Duty like fan base was insane. FIFA was also there, StarCraft and Counter Strike were there, but literally the only section of the arena that was full up was for Call of Duty and it just goes to show the amount of support that Call of Duty has gained as an eSport in that sort of sphere of influence I guess. Um, KSI was there for FIFA so it was a surprise that not many more people turned up for FIFA. Um, I didn't get to meet KSI specifically, I didn't get to take a selfie with him or anything, but I did get to meet Calyx and Cal Freezy. Cal Freezy is a FIFA YouTuber and Calyx is a friend of all of those guys. He uploads real life videos and prank videos and it was really funny like just bumping into them. I met a couple of YouTubers who I have been watching for a few months now, Cal Freezy for over a year and um, now I'll get into what you guys probably care about, which is the Call of Duty stuff. I did manage to meet Formal and JCap. I took a selfie with those guys that will pop up on the screen somewhere, I imagine. And um, yeah, they were awesome. They were really lively. They were willing to talk to fans, take selfies with fans, all that jazz. Also took selfies with Gunja, who is the only pro player who doesn't look creepy when you take photos with him. Um, I took a picture with Sharp, who looked like a bald eagle, because he got his hair cut just before he, just before he flew out to London. Um, I didn't get any more pictures with anyone else from TK. I didn't get any pictures from anyone on Optic or EG. I, the first picture of the day that I did take was of Crim6. That was when he was picking up his um, lanyard to go inside, and he wasn't like talking to fans or anything. He was literally just picking that up. Um, but I was literally about a foot and a half away from Aches when him and TP arrived late on the first day. So that was awesome, that was insane. Um, and it was such a good experience. I also managed to take a selfie with Hex. I managed to get a fist pound off of Hex. Um, he's such an awesome guy in real life. He's really funny, he's easy to talk to. And another pro player I was really close to was Merc from Envy. I didn't manage to get a signature or a selfie or anything. He was with Driftart, his girlfriend, and um, Joey was with his fiance. And I was literally six seats away from him. I tweeted at him um, to see if he'd noticed, but obviously he didn't. He was busy. He was spectating games, um, just trying to chill in the crowd, I guess. Um, and if I had asked him, I would have been less nervous to ask other players and stuff for selfies. Um, 
Me and my friends also managed to get a selfie with Pocket, who is the most well-known MLG caster in the world. Um, his picture is up on the poster somewhere, I believe. There, if you can see him. Yeah, that was probably terrible camera work. But that is Pocket. Um, I managed to get a group selfie with him and my friends in the background. The quality's not that good, so when that pops out, you'll probably just see Pocket's face and not ours. Um, it was funny because when I gave him my phone to take the picture of, he accidentally recorded a two second video that I'm not going to bother putting in because you can't actually see anything, but it was funny, it was hilarious. Um, Pocket, again, is an awesome guy. A lot of the guys I met were. Um, they just seem so normal and it's weird like meeting people you've been watching on streams for the past year and a half. Um, it's actually insane. but. The experience I had there was amazing. I would definitely go back again if I could. Like I said, I really want to go to both days next year if they host it again, which I don't see why they wouldn't, especially not for Call of Duty. Um, I don't know if they're still going to be having as much of a focus on FIFA and the other games, because there was literally so few people there that if you added up the spectators for Counter-Strike, Starcraft and FIFA, they literally wouldn't have filled up one quarter of the arena which the Call of Duty fans did on their own. And on the second day on Championship Sunday, they needed to take part of the FIFA spectator zone to fill it with Call of Duty fans because that is how packed it got. It was insane. Um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't get to go on Championship Sunday. I was just there on a Saturday. I did get to sign something. I managed to get my snapback signed by a lot of players. Managed to get signed by the whole of Optic Nation. You probably won't be able to see signatures very well. There you can. I managed to get it signed by Killer, Ricky, Miracles, and Money B. Um, that's the whole of Optic Nation. The whole of their squad were able to sign my snapback. I also got a signature off of Hasbro, who is the owner of Team Envious. If you guys didn't know, Team Envious did go on to win it, and that was awesome. I also got Proofy's signature. Proofy is such an awesome guy. Just having a quick conversation with me just seemed like a genuinely cool person. Also got formal signature there on the bottom. Formal was MVP of the tournament. He was also on Team Envious, who are like I said did win the tournament, and I was really happy to see those guys win it. It is their first major like LAN event win. They'd always had the curse of finishing second, and then halfway through Black Ops 2, they took a slump. They were getting really bad placements, and then. Um, when Ghost came around, they finished second at Champs, and since then they hadn't really like finished top four or had any sort of glimpse of winning it. So it was a big surprise to see them come out. They 3 0 Optic Gaming, they 3 one Optic Nation, they beat FaZe 3 who beat EG 3 and it wasn't an easy road for them to go out and win it, but they managed to, and like I said, it was awesome. I got to talk to the champions, I got to meet some of them, got to get their signatures, and I got a selfie with two of them as well, so it was, like I said, an amazing experience. If you guys are fans of gaming, and specifically Call of Duty, I would definitely recommend going to one of these events. Um, like I said, the atmosphere was insane for Call of Duty. Um, I wouldn't really recommend going for FIFA or the other games, just because it wasn't that fun to watch the other games. Me and a couple of friends sat through FIFA, just because KSI was commentating, and it was pretty, like, insanely boring. I'm not going to go into detail about it because this is already turning into a very long vlog as it is. But, yeah. Um, I would definitely go again next year. I definitely plan on bringing something else to sign, like a t-shirt or maybe purchasing a t-shirt there next year for them to sign. Um, obviously, the teams will probably be a lot different then because it will be a new game, a new Call of Duty, a new year. So, new teams, that's a guarantee. Um, but, yeah, I did manage to get this poster. Like I said, I also got a program of the teams who were there and the games that were played on Championship Sunday and on Saturday. And I apologise again for that terrible camera work. Um, but yeah, that is basically G Infinity in a nutshell. I had an amazing time. I did have to wake up at 6.30. So that, oh no, I had to leave my house at 6.30. So that was the struggle to get to Stratford from my house. I also didn't get back till 1.15 the evening after. So that's why there wasn't a Sunday on Sundays last week. I literally was in bed all day. Um, I didn't leave my bed um, because I just slept because I got back that late but yeah um, also another major thing a big shout out to um, 
my girlfriend's charity fundraising thing um, is on Just Giving. A link to it will still be in the description below as it has been for the past Sunday on Sundays. Um, just donate as much as you can. If you can, donate as generously as possible because it goes to a good cause. It's helping her out and obviously she's putting a lot of effort in to run 100k from London to Brighton for charity. So it's definitely worth it, um, especially considering it's going to Macmillan Cancer Support. All of the proceeds go to that charity, so I highly recommend you guys donate. I myself have donated, a lot of people have donated, she's hit 200 and something pounds I believe. But yeah, the link to that will be in the description below like I said. And yeah, that is it guys, so if you have enjoyed then do be sure to leave a like. Also if you did go to Gfinity and you are watching this, then do be sure to comment, let me know how you found it, wherever you go again and maybe we can meet up next year if it happens again. Um, but yeah, that is it. Um, so if you did like, then do be sure to leave a like. If you did enjoy, then be sure to comment as well. Let me know if you are enjoying my content. And like I said, I will attempt to get three videos out next week for you guys. Because I don't want to keep letting you guys down like I have. Because I know it sucks. It sucks for me. It sucks for you. You're not getting what you want out of this channel. And I hate letting you guys down. Um, but yeah, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed, guys. As always, I've been Sully. Links. To my Twitch and Twitter is always in the description below. There will also be a link to my girlfriend just giving account down there. So yeah, peace.